No matter how good a forecast is, there will always be surprises and variations in actual demand. Variable works with companies who face this type of situation every day. We connect businesses to workers on demand through our labor marketplace, enabling managers to be certain they can adapt to changes. Hi, my name is Matthew Graham. I'm a director of business development in North Texas. And in this video, you will learn the most common problems with demand forecasting and how to solve them so your operation can stay flexible and competitive. Common demand forecasting problems. Forecasting demand too low. Planning to meet demand that's lower than what actually needs to be met will leave you scrambling to catch up. When you don't have enough materials and labor, you end up shipping orders late because you have to scramble. This is bad for the customer and bad for your operational metrics. Forecasting demand too high. Planning to meet demand that is higher than what actually materializes will result in overstaffing and excess inventory. This leads to storage costs for the extra materials you have on hand. This will also have an effect on the morale of your workforce. If you're overstaffed, your workforce will either be forced to take unwanted time off or waste their time with menial busy work. Supply chain dependencies causing last minute changes. The companies on either side of you in the supply chain impact your ability to keep promises. This is amplified by any inadequacies in your demand forecast. Forecasting demand too early. Forecasting your demand too early means you'll almost certainly miss the mark. The further out you plan, the harder it is to be precise with your predictions. Relying too rigidly on forecast demand. Having a plan is great, but sticking to it so rigidly that you can't respond to the reality around you is a surefire way to get your business into trouble. Rigidity costs you time, money, and opportunities. Solutions to common demand forecasting problems. Forecast demand frequently and for short periods. Forecasting demand over short time periods and conducting forecasting more frequently reduces the chance that you overextend your predictions, causing you to overestimate and overspend or be unprepared for demand. Understand which steps of production you can stagger for flexibility. If you have a longer lead time, sometimes you can speed up your response to demand by understanding which parts of your process you can do before an order is placed. Have a plan for responding to expected variations. No matter how great your model used in forecasting is, there will always be some level of inaccuracy and uncertainty in the forecast. That's why you should always have a plan for the expected amount of variation from the forecast. Have a plan for handling extreme variations and edge cases. Make sure your solutions for handling variations are scalable. It's becoming increasingly obvious that in the internet age, demand can be volatile overnight for some businesses. Be prepared for extremes so you can have peace of mind no matter how volatile demand might be. You can avoid much of the frustration that comes with relying on demand forecasts by adopting a more agile approach to planning. This involves having a reliable way to find workers on short notice so you can keep costs low with confidence that you can respond in real time to demand. New ways of planning, when combined with on-demand labor, can empower you to rely less on guesswork and respond quickly to demand. To get started with variable and to add flexibility to your workforce, sign up for a free business profile today.